Hey friends, it's Andrew from iDownloadBlog with Answering Machine, a new tweak available in the Big Boss repo that allows you to really customize your voicemail on your jailbroken iOS device. It's also worth noting that this works all the way up to iOS 9.3.3, so if you have a newly jailbroken device, this will work just fine. You can get to the settings from the app itself or from the settings application. The first thing you'll see is enabled, so if you want to enable or disable the tweak itself. Then we can look at actually setting up a greeting. So this is going to be our default greeting. We can choose to record our own voice, which is pretty standard, or we can do a dynamic greeting. So first we're going to choose how, how long before the voicemail will pick up, which language and which voice we would like to use, and then there's also this dynamic greeting here. So this is, it changes during the time of the day. So in the morning, it'll say good morning. In the evenings, it'll say good evening. So it basically just changes your message based on the time of day. Then we have the message itself. So there is one pre-populated in here, but you can change it. And down below, you'll notice this little information where it allows you to actually uh, add tags, such as greeting and name, and only insert those into your message. So I could have the greeting, based on the time of day, so the dynamic greeting, and then the person's name who's calling based off of my address book. So if my girlfriend was calling, you would say, good evening, Faith, blah, 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 blah. So just an easy way to kind of make it more personal automatically. You can even exclude specific numbers from that default greeting. Below that, we also have the ability to add a custom greeting here, and then we have the private number greeting. So private number is you just don't know what that number is. It's showing up as private on your phone. So that could be something for work. So if you don't know, you could use a specific greeting for that private number, or if it's a telemarketer or anything like that, you can choose to set up this different greeting for people that you don't know. Then, then of course, there is the more specific greetings, the custom person greeting. So if I want my friend Nick here, every time he calls, I want a special greeting, a special message just for him. I can set that up very simply. I'll simply go to my contacts, choose the contact, and then choose the number that I want to assign this special greeting to. Again, we're just going to do the dynamic greeting with the synthesized voice. I'll choose how long before I want the voicemail to pick up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say, hey Nick, right here at the beginning of my voicemail. So it doesn't actually do the full name from my address book, it just does Nick, which is what I would call him for short. So a lot of different options there for private numbers, specific people, and for just general overall. We can go in and customize our notifications. So we want to see our, our voicemails inside of a banner. We want to have badges and sounds. We want to do voice recognition, which is very much like what's going to be inside of iOS 10 or Google Voice or Hulu Mail, if you've seen that one as well. It's just going to take what they're saying in their voicemail using Apple's dictation feature and convert that voice into text and then show it to you not only in the notification, but inside of the app as well. Basically, it makes it really easy to read your voicemail instead of actually having to listen to it. Remote commands are also a really awesome feature. So you can dial into your voicemail remotely and do these different commands such as getting your uh, location of your phone remotely, remotely respringing your phone, or even remotely rebooting your phone. So all things that you can do from a different phone, just call in, enter your PIN, and you're good to go. You can also opt to use this when you have Do Not Disturb turned on, as well as when you decline a call. Now I'm going to go into my greetings and remove the second greeting, because I want to show you how the, the dynamic default greeting works. So as a refresher, what that looks like is it's going to give the greeting based on the time of day, and then my friend's name from my address book. So I'm going to go ahead and call my phone here. I'll see my friend's picture pop up. It will quickly go to voicemail, and then you'll hear my voicemail message. Good evening, Nick Cage. I am not available right now. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, Andrew, I need your help with National Treasure 3. Thanks. Okay, not to make a pun, but it sounded like he was really phoning that in. Now you'll see my notification banner appear just a second after the call ends, and it'll actually include the text of that voicemail, so I can see exactly what Nick told me without having to open up the app or listen to the voicemail itself. 
When I do open up the app though, it looks like a standard voicemail application. It'll show me who the voicemail came from. I can see it in text version instead of the audio file. And a lot of this is very similar to the other options out there. Apple's native offering in iOS 10, Google Voice or Hello Mail. There's many, many more out there. So it's a pretty standard feature as far as that goes, but there's so much more you can do with this if you have a jailbroken device. If you want, you can pick this up in the Big Boss Repo for only $3.99. And trust me, you really do want to check this out. It's a fantastic offering if you have a jailbroken iPhone. Let us know what you guys think of Answering Machine down in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, it's Andrew for iDownloadBlog.